Hello, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay. You may remember me from the Weekend Box Office Report. Yeah, I took the month off. I was um, appearing in a student film, and I also have been uh, learning my lines for a Agatha Christie murder mystery. And I had to train myself to not call the characters by their real names, but by the names they're claiming they are. And that took all my spare time. Besides, January doesn't matter in the box office world. All right, so this is for the weekend of February 7th through 9th. Um, three new movies on the chart this week, although I think I'll make a passing mention of some of the older ones, because, you know, I probably should have been. Um, but first of all, number one, debuting at number one, The Lego Movie uh, from Warner Brothers, made $69 million, which was better even than everybody was expecting, and people had a pretty high hopes for it already. So... Just remember, it's not Lego, it's the movie. So when the other uh, toy makers start rushing in to make their movies, like the Play-Doh movie or the um, I don't know, Transformers movie, the, just, just try to keep in mind that it's what they did with it. It's not the actual toy itself, please. Coming in at number two, The Monuments Men, George Clooney directing and starring uh, from Sony, $22 million. A little bit disappointing from George. Cost $70 million to make, they claim. Um, and then let's see, coming in at number three, four weeks old, but um, it uh, really has done quite well, uh, Ride Along. The day after I saw the student uh, film that I was in, I went to a employee screening of Ride Along, and it was such a relief to see something maybe not so imaginative, but competently made. <laughs> that, um, I just loved it to pieces. Anyway, it stars uh, Ice Cube. It's from his Cube Vision Productions. Anyway, this weekend it made $9 million, but uh, overall so far in the month that it's been out, it's made $105 million. Um, Let's see. All right, so coming in at number seven, Vampire Academy. Uh, $3.9 million because apparently you can't just make teenage vampire movies and expect them right out of the box to make money. Too bad because um, I saw some teenage vampires being interviewed on something and they just seemed like very personable, delightful young teenage vampires. All right, so let's go all the way down to the bottom of the chart now. Ooh, a re-release of Alphaville. From Rialto, um, I have no idea why they'd bother, but it made seven point uh, no seven thousand two hundred and ninety-eight million, no seven thousand two hundred and ninety-eight dollars, uh, which isn't much. But then again, you know, for a fifty-year-old, well, is it fifty-year-old, sixty-five? Yeah, it's about fifty years old, almost. See, that's the thing that confuses me. Almost fifty years old. I don't know. Maybe they're just like uh, air drying the prints by putting them in the theaters. I like Alpha Bill. Um, okay, the lowest uh, movie uh, on the chart this week comes in, coming in at number 86, Maiden Trip from First Run Pictures. Made $88. Uh, eight weeks on the chart. I'm not going to answer that. I never answer that. Don't, don't, uh, don't answer your landline. line. Coming in at number 81, though, it's brand new from Rialto Pictures, Demi Seal which I think means half-sister, uh, $634 for the weekend on one screen. So that is your weekend box office report. I will attempt to maybe be a little more consistent in the coming months. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.